my name is Ryan Goodwin. Uh, I come from a family farm uh, southwest of Assiniboia and uh, still involved in the farm there a bit. My dad and my older brother run it and I get there when I can. Uh, part of what I love to do is consulting. I um, have a number of customers around Regina. That's where I live is in Regina and I have a number of customers around there that provide full agronomic consulting to, including variable rates and crop scouting and sell some seed and then uh, got involved with Biosol here over the last year or so. Oh, that's, uh, that's an easy one. Um, without a doubt, my favorite part of being an agronomist is uh, the ability to make a difference on a farm. And probably a pretty common answer, but I've worked a few different jobs and I know a lot of people who have worked a lot of different jobs. And I don't believe there's a job I could do that I know of where I could have a bigger impact on a farm. Um, you know, I don't necessarily get to touch the amount of farms I'd like because I just don't have the time in the day to do that. But the ones I work with, I mean, I just, my customers share a lot of things with me and, uh, and I enjoy being that closely involved. And, and, uh, and then you get certain guys who are just such phenomenal farmers that it's such an honor to work with them and to uh, really be able to learn from them and see what they do right. And, neighbors look at them and just think well everything just goes right for them but when you get to work with them closely and you get to see the uh, persistence and uh, and all the things that go into the decisions they make and you understand what makes them successful it's, uh, it's just a lot of fun and really an honor to be able to work with those kind of guys well it's kind of funny actually I didn't get involved with Biosol to sell it I got involved in Biosol to uh, get it for our farm that was the first phone call I made was to see if I could order a load or two and try this stuff out. And uh, and then through that, discovered there was an opportunity and kind of explored it. It just fits in so well with uh, my agronomy business. And agronomically, it's a great fit. I mean, I just love the idea of elemental sulfur and uh, making sure that we supply as much sulfur as we need to every crop. Um, there's no limitations. We're not fighting with blends. and trying to figure out how we're going to get some sulfur down with the pulses and with the cereals. You know, the canola is a given. Nobody really argues that one, but just to make it fit everywhere has always been a challenge with... Everything's a compromise, you know, with blends and everything. What do we... What can we do? What do we want to do? Aren't always the same thing. So this elemental sulfur is a great fit to give us flexibility. In a lot of the areas I work with, we're uh, really focused on phosphate and uh, and of course nitrogen is a given and so this allows us to simplify our blends so we can match it to the fields and, and I just love the flexibility that gives us when it comes time to crop plan and make our plans. So uh, the Biosol specifically, um, it's what I've enjoyed about being involved with it is it's so fun to come to a guy with a product and not have to use the sales pitch of, well, you only need a bushel or two bushels, because we hear that all the time. There are many products that come along these days where it seems like we can take what we want to do and what we've always done, uh, improve on it, and do it at a lower cost. It's just, it's a rare thing. So to be able to come to a guy and say, hey, because of this new uh, process and some things some guys learned, we can, uh, we can do what we want to do and do it cheaper and more convenient. So yeah, with the trusted applicator model, I think um, you know there's the recognition that that's an important part of this process, and that we need to uh, a certain amount of level of uh, effort needs to put into the actual application of this product, and that's that's an important part of the whole program is, is how are we applying it, and what width and distribution of particle size is really what it comes down to, I guess. But there's a lot of things that need to go into that. And uh, by having a, a limited number of people who are really focused on that and recognize the importance of it. And then, then the other thing it does too is, uh, you know, the establishment of a bit of a network, you know, where we're getting together several times a year and comparing notes on what works and what doesn't and the challenges and, and how we can all work together to improve what we're doing. And, I've seen it through diff several different parts of my business that uh, just when you can work together with like-minded people and uh, both have a common goal and bring larger numbers of people together to work together that everybody's better for it and everybody, everybody's business is stronger and, uh, and they're better at what they do and ultimately the customers benefit in the end and that's really what it's all about. So.